Hey y'all, it's been a long, long time. Um, not really too long, but I've been doing okay. Uh, I know that people have been wanting me to come on here and share some things and just uh, elaborate on what I know. Um, a lot of, God has been showing me a lot, a lot. Um, many things that happen so quick and so much that the, um, the revelation is given and it's taken, but at the same time, it's so layered and so much to um, get back out. So sometimes recently, there's been so much revelation of what's going on, just just on multiple layers of, of a lot of things, that it would be so much that how it came and how much it was, it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a way to convey it back outward, and it's so much. It's so much how it came, um, and just how confirmations come now. Um, they're elaborate pictures and elaborate puzzles now, how he come, confirms things. And sometimes it's just straight immediate. Um, so recently, it's been a great blossoming of how God's been illuminating and talking to me differently now. Um, and <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot. <laughs> but it's been good. I've been doing really well. So I was led to come on here um, to share some things, and I'm going to just do that. Um, recently, I have been led to uh, receive some knowledge of what's coming soon. Um, there is going to be worse things coming. Uh, there's going to be worse weather coming. There's going to be worse uh, weather. There's going to be problems with people's finances. There's going to be issues in the um, court system. Um, justice is going to be manifested. But justice is a different justice coming forth now. Um, there is a justice that is from God and God himself. Um, where justice won't need a court system anymore. It's uh, literally God bestowed this, so therefore this happens. Um, without anything that would, would interfere with it. And meaning that, like, man, like, anything of the world that could try to stop it can't. Um, that's where the, uh, that's where we're being headed to, is um, that judgment is different now. It's not a judicial court system we're looking for. Um, it's, if so then, then this happens um, with the Father. And he has it based off of, um, how do you, I'm talking so, cause so it's, it's hard to explain. It's a different type of court system that is going to be manifested on the planet. But it's going to be as a church court system, um, involved with his spirit deciding things as he showers his people in what ways he does so um that being explained more so it's like everybody is getting getting an outpouring of something no one is not getting it um and as everyone gets it it depends how you fall on this on the side of um the scales of the weight of however you want the balance beam, if you would like to call it that. Um, everyone has been, everyone is being weighed. The virus was here, even though it was manipulated and used, to give uh, time for people to uh, give God the time. And it wasn't, it wasn't verbally, you know, spoken of. Right. But at the same time, it was always understood that, hey, I need this time for God. It, it, it was I need this time for God and it can be done. Here's my opportunity. Many people didn't take it. Many people are taking it. Um, it's a dividing line right now. And God has to have this done so that his court system that comes down can be finite. So he's sifting out the wheat and the tares. He's dividing everything. He's he's giving people what they desire. So, for example, if you're desiring the um, if you're wanting the idols of the world, if you're wanting uh, the peace that you can get from items of this world, then that's what you have. And that's going to be how you're weighed. Simple. That's it. God is taking it to a point now where it's a different level of of grace it's a different way of grace. It's a different manifestation of it. It's those who fall on me um, is what he's saying right now. He's saying, if those fall on me and trust in me, then the grace is pro provided. If their grace is for them to follow 
the ways of man and in their idols, the grace for them is only going to be a uh, correction. It's only going to be to let them know that that idol has to go. And by doing that, God, uh, it may be by a method of chastisement. It may be a method of destruction. It may be a method of whatever whatever it takes is the, the level God is at. And whatever it takes is whatever it's going to take. So what God is doing now is he's bringing down foundations that don't require him. He's shattering it. He's, he's doing what he has to do. Um, he has to fully break down what is not, what is, he has to break down all that he knows is and is not of him. Even though we are of his people, he still breaks us down, right? We are still crushed. We are still broken down. We are still refined and broken down to where we can be something greater. Um, the same thing happens on the, on the other side of the coin, which is for those who are in the world, they are being, um, broken down, but it's not so much of a, uh, personal breaking down It's let me destroy your foundation, your environment so that you, we can wake up. That's what's coming. And that's how, uh, God's judgment is going to be done. Um, no more court system, no more court system. It's, it's God coming in taking care of things and doing it his way. And it's a lot quicker, <laughs> a lot quicker. Um, so there's that. Okay, God, what else? Um, the people who are his, be of readiness, he's saying. There is a true power that is coming. This power is, it's true. And it's really about, it's, it's, it's really awesome. It's a power that is truly from the Father himself. And he has ordained it. He has, he has manifested it to only him. Where it's only, for, it's only him and he can only give it to those who are ready. And the readiness of it is at his utmost importance, he's saying. It's of utmost importance that... The readiness of the person's heart is only wanting what the desire of the will of their father is. Meaning, if you reside on the father, meaning my father, your father, Jesus. If you're residing on the father's side, your desire has to be of his purpose first and then whatever else and then whatever else. Um, the purpose that you have has to be sought out. It's not for you to, hey, oh, it's going to be shown. No, we are supposed to take our identities and understand it. Who understood David? David did. Who understood Solomon? Solomon did. It's the same way. Even every child of God in the word of God was also not fully knowledgeable of what they had to do, but knowledgeable of exactly what they were in order to fulfill what they could do but by God, only by God. See, it was like, because they knew who they were, they knew how much more they needed God to get it done, not because they could do without him. So it's um, that mentality where we have to have that purpose of nothing else matters. You have to put nothing else before God. I don't care if you have children, they got to go. It does not matter. Everything has to go. Everything has to go. Um, and this is the most part you can do in order to be prepared because God is searching out the hearts of so many. And if, if you're not ready, you don't receive it. That's it. You have to be ready. And the purpose of it is that those who, the purpose of it is as you get ready, there's a threshold. Everyone has a threshold. And the faith of your threshold and the purpose of your threshold is only accumulated through the intertwining with Jesus. So as those who work for the Lord, labor, 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 but yet they have not come to the presence of God and dwelled in his house and received from him, they're not selected. It's those who come to the presence of God and wait and just sit there. And don't require anything. Just, I, I'm happy to be in the front of the presence of God. And I'm and the purpose of my purpose now 
is okay. Meaning, as I sit before the Father, there is nothing or anything above this is non-existent. And that purpose right there to sit before the Father and be in his presence and dwine with him and, sw and dwell with him and have that intertwining, that is where you get understanding. That is where you get to how he sees you and that, okay, you're ready. It's not even doing any labor for him because the labor is done by him anyway. He doesn't need us. It's not, he don't need none of us. So he's trying to, he wants you to understand that be of the power of God is through in the space of God. The space of God is the intertwining. The intertwining is as you wait for God, you are still seeking him. You are still praying. You are still wanting him. You are still desiring him. You're worshiping him. You're giving him glory. You are saying, hey, as I wait for you, I'm still here. This is what waiting means. It's an engagement. You don't engagement of waiting is an intertwining. You're woven into it. It's not so much you sit. You are actually being woven. But in order to be woven, as, as things crisscross, they have to be adaptable, right? You can't have three sticks woven together. It doesn't happen. They have to be three yarn, three um, pieces of cloth, because why? It's adaptable. It's moldable. It can be turned and twisted. You know what I'm saying? Don't be stiff necks. Be very humble and adaptive to God with your adaptable faith. Meaning that God's going to put you in different situations, put you in multiple situations. If you're at this threshold, that's another thing about the threshold. The reason why you have to get there is because it's a different type of faith that he's going to require out of you. It's a faith where you have to have an adaptation to where you don't care about the situation you're in to the point of food, water, or anything, but you care only about that, okay, if Christ is in me, and Christ goes before me, there is nothing in my situation that I should worry about. There is nothing in the situation that he takes me to because he may take me to some bad areas. I've been there. People, people know <laughs> I've been to some bad areas to witness to God, to witness people to, to Christ. Um, you have to feel within yourself, I'm about to go into this bad area to witness to somebody, and God says go, and I see it before me, there's about 15, 20 of the people that could jump me, but because God said, walk straight, I'm walking straight. That's what it's like. It's going to be like that. So you have to see a bad scenario and say, no, the father within me says is here. Whatever's in me is greater than out there. And even though I can't see the father, his word says he goes before me to the left, to the right and behind me. That's it. You have to have that kind of mentality of the word of God and that stance that in no matter what, God's word is beyond the reality you live in. Whew. Okay, got that out. <laughs> um, man, sorry. Um, anything else, God? But yes, there's more. Um, he wants you to know that this threshold isn't something you achieve. You have to be brought to it. So it's a surrendering, a yielding, and then he elevates you. You rise because of the intertwining of him taking you up. It's like if you were to be a piece of yarn and he's a piece of yarn. And the only way you move is to intertwine with him. And as you intertwine with him, he carries you forward. It's just like if you were to weave something, you weave it and then it goes forward. You weave it, then it goes forward. Then it becomes a picture, right? It's the same thing how he wants us to be. And that is the same aspect of getting to that threshold level where you can be you can be given that type of level to be used for the grand harvest he's about to do. And that's really soon, real soon. I don't know days, uh-uh, don't know. But I know for a fact the signs and the confirmation he's showing me, man. <laughs> I don't say this often, y'all, but it's real soon. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um... As far as um, prophetic, there are some prophetic signs. He's shown me that um, as, um, let me start over. Prophetic signs now of what's coming. Sorry if this video is forever. Please just skip around, guys. It's a lot. I'm telling you, like, this isn't even, I, I haven't touched the iceberg. I probably have touched the iceberg a little bit on things he shared, but whoa, it keeps going. So I'm trying to put it all in a nutshell. Um, 
So, with um, some of the prophetic, there is multiple levels coming, multiple areas. So, many people know about this domino effect. Many people have been co confirmed about it. Everyone has, a lot of you who you meet it, know something about it. So, what's going on is, as COVID-19 has about five layers of itself of things happening. You got COVID-19 involving the virus itself. You have it, economy, um, <laughs> people's foundations and jobs. People, before this happened, back, I don't know when, it was, it was last year, God visited me at a visitation from the Lord, and he was so sad. He was so sad. And many times, it's only been a couple of times God visits me with his emotions. And this time he was so sad and just, just quiet. Because he was so sad of what he was going to allow, what, what had to be done, what was going to come to the earth, what, what has to be done soon. And it was this, what we're in. And I didn't know it. I had no clue because he wouldn't tell me about it. He just, he would just, he came to me and I felt his presence and he was there and it was just saddened and pain and suffering. And it was like, I, I have to do what I have to do, no matter how much it pains me and how much it hurts so bad for me to do it. That was the father's mentality. And it was so raw of how, what he's going through to do this. All the thoughts he's going through, the heart, the father's heart of what he had to do. Last year, he came to me and did this. I had no clue. So he was feeling this, but like that much last year. To someone small as me, I could barely even contain. When God touches me with his emotions, just as a heads up, and this is a sidebar, Whenever he does, he always, I always understand that it's just the most, it's a speck of what he's actually feeling in his own heart that he shares with me. It is barely anything he shares with me. And the pain that I feel is debilitating. It debilitates me almost. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> I have to sit in it. It's pretty tense. Um, but more prophetic. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. There is coming in something in the sky. As COVID's happening, and like I said, it has, you got... It's influencing people's families. It's dividing people. People are being divided with their marriage. They're either being closer with their marriage. Couples are being divided or they're getting closer. It's everywhere. Everybody's seeing it. It's because of what God is doing. He's allowing this one thing to have five dominoes that tip over five things. So you have COVID, you branch down, you got your family, finances, the disease, um, and just a new lifestyle. <laughs> we have a semi-martial law already here. So it's only get worse. Um, that's another thing that's coming. Martial law is coming. Don't know when. I don't know if this is going to as far as COVID and what this thing is, it's not going anywhere. It's going to be a <laughs> it's going to stick around for a minute. It's going to be worse in the fall. Let's just say that um, there's going to be even more aspects of life. This thing is going to cause and it's going to. <laughs> It's a hidden enemy that's affecting everything visible. It's crazy, right? Um, next thing he showed me, he showed me, he kept doing this. He was like, as this happens, this happens. He showed me that. He was like, as this happens, this happens. As this happens, this happens. And he had me motion my hands like this one time as he showed me, like, just like that. And I understood. He was showing me that as COVID's happening, here come the protests happening. Now, when the protest is happening, now we're seeing the financial people. People are getting unstable of finances now because they're relying too much on the government. The government's not coming out like they were supposed to. And God knows. And God planned it. People who rely on man for this, this help. Whoa. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's not going to go well. Um, so there's that. Um, that's a couple of layers that we continue. As far as the um, what's coming worse in the fall, you're going to see some things that you didn't want to see. It's, it's going to be a thousand men fall to my left, a thousand men fall to my right. But because Christ is, Christ is with me and I am in Christ, I stand. Um, to when that will happen, don't know. I see it so far in the fall, yeah. Um, this year, yeah. Don't know when, mm -mm. until God wants to elaborate on more precise details of his timing. All I got is fall. That's all I see. Fall. So, heads up. Um, now, outside of COVID, there's things in the sky coming. 
There's things in the sky happening now. There's things messing up us already from outer space. So, there is coming more meteors. We're in a big cloud of meteors right now. Um, I've had personal people come to me and say, oh, I've seen, I just saw a shooting star. I've had friends, I've talked on the phone, whatever. It's like, I'm on the phone. They're seeing shooting stars in the sky. Um, and it's just confirmations like that God gives me now. Real live confirmations. I tell you this, here it is. Um, I saw a vision where it was coming out like a machine gun. I saw so many meteors on fire coming to the earth. And some of them looked like shooting stars during the daytime. Um, but I believe God was showing me from outer space that look huge. From where they're going to look from the earth, it's going to look small. But the impact is, is nothing to look away from. I think what God is showing me is that as he showed me this vision, it's like you have to understand it may not look like nothing's happening up there. But trust me, that is an important situation. It's something to look at. Because when everyone was fo focusing on COVID, God kept saying, look up, look up. There's stuff coming. Look up. So it was like he was showing me you have to keep your mind in multiple areas on this. You can't be stuck in, in that lane where they have you on the COVID because that's not it. It's more. It's more. It's more. So um, that's another thing he just showed me. So we have to go back to him on his focus. We have to go back to him. And seek him in his knowledge again. His knowledge. Because he, there's so much that the enemy does not want us to know that he won't provide for us, that he's con that is influenced in all the media, as we know, that we're missing out. We're not getting all of it from the media. So we have to, he's got to be the first thing we go to when it comes to this stuff. It has to be. He's our father. He only does this because he cares. Um. So that's coming from the sky. Um, also, with uh, Planet X, Planet Nibiru, that thing is still in the play. They, don't forget about that thing. It's still in the play, and that thing is bigger and more important than what they're trying to tell you. Honestly, to be honest with y'all, all this crap happening on the on the news and all this other stuff happening that is so drama and so woe is me, all the emotion is a huge direction away. Some of it is true. Yes, a lot of it is true. People died. People are going through this. People are having this. People are going through this. Yes, 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 yes. At the same time, don't indulge. Don't consume yourself in it. We are supposed to be pilgrims. We're supposed to walk through this world, not of it. That means not of the indulgence of the, the information. You're supposed to take in, filter in the information, and keep going. Because you're on the narrow path, and it's that important. Even with information, you can't be deceived. Because you start praying to God about things you don't need. Or that's not even true. So you're wasting your prayer time on things you don't need to pray about. God's trying to keep you more efficient. God wants you to be as efficient as possible. Um, what else? There is magma flow. That's what it was. Magma flow is coming. Um, I was given a dream by someone else who said that they were supposed to share this dream with me. And it was that there was magma flow underneath the, the um, ground in one location in Florida. And as the magma flow was flowing, it was it was like geysers of fire. It was like geysers of pillars of fire coming out the ground, and they had to dodge it and this, this, and that. And they knew when they woke up about the dream, they had to tell me about it. And I understood what the dream meant. It meant that because of how this planet X is coming closer and closer, it's pulling on the underneath the crust, and it's it's redirecting magma but also rising the magma to the surface so another thing may happen they may say the road the roads are melting understand the roads may not be melting just from the sun but the roads may be melting from the lava beneath heads up on that um another thing i was shown so um here's a time frame here are time frames i've been giving late july august those two months are are big. I don't know what it is. Something about late July and August. Y'all, please show me what it is. I've been given time frames. I don't know what it means. There you go. <laughs> um, maybe that's for those who made it to the end of the video. I don't know. I'm kidding. Um, but I think that's it. There's probably gonna be more I gotta share. But um, like I said, it's been so much. I'm just. I guess he's giving me. Let me do it in portions. 
So this is where it ends now. Um, but y'all be blessed. I love you guys. Thanks again. I'll be here soon. Bye.